Hello, welcome back to Mancinima. I hope you're all doing very well. We've got another one of our specials for you today, and we're going to be doing a little bit of detective work. In fact, we're going to be looking for the detective Axel Foley. We're going to be finding out what happened to the movie Beverly Hills Cop 4. Now, the original Beverly Hills Cop movie opened in 1985, and obviously this was a movie that came after the likes of 48 Hours and Trading Places and they both kind of introduced Eddie Murphy and of course once Beverly Hills Cop came out he became a, a massive super superstar he led that movie and it went on to massive success I think it made something like 316 million at the box office um, of course two sequels followed in 1987 we had Beverly Hills Cop 2 and that made 276.6 million at the box office and then a few years later on in 1994, we had the lackluster Beverly Hills Cop 3, which only made 119 million at the box office. So as you can see, things were tailing off. Um, Eddie Murphy at the time said he was disappointed in Beverly Hills Cop 3. That's not the way that he wanted the, the Beverly Hills Cop saga to go out. And he wanted to go out on a high. So ever since then, plans were put in place, especially in the late 90s, for another um, episode, another movie, if you like. So Beverly Hills Cop 4 was put into kind of quick, not really quick turnaround, but kind of, you know, the ideas were forming back in the end of the late 90s. However, in 2006, Jerry Brockheimer uh, wanted to resurrect the project. He wanted to get another Beverly Hills Cop movie back out there. And he went to Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, uh, a producing associate of his, and he said he wanted him to produce it, and the wheels were put in motion. Of course, during the period between 1994 and 2006, a number of scripts were written and rejected, and uh, eventually a script turned up that which was an amalgamation of all the previous scripts and uh, apparently it was something that Eddie Murphy liked so he looked at the script and he you know he enjoyed it he thought right you know let's go forward with this one and um, he just really wanted to make up for what he considered to be the horrible part three so in May 2006 Brett Ratner the director of Rush Hour series which stars Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker of course uh, he was announced as the official director of Beverly Hills Cop 4 and uh, the project started to move forward, however not very quickly because in July 2008 the script was still being revised. They had a script at this period um, which was called Beverly Hills Cop 2009. I never think it's a good idea to date a movie because it, li like I say, it literally dates the movie if you put a, a, a year on it anyway. Uh, yeah, the movie at that point was to uh, concern the murder of Billy Rosewood and that's what brought Axel Foley back from Detroit into Beverly Hills to investigate Billy's murder. Um, however, the script didn't really go around very well, you know, the studio looked at it and it was rejected again and it went back into limbo. And there was a point later on where Brett Ratner was asked, you know, what the state of the script was and he said, well, he said, I think the movie will be made. He said, but it won't be made any time soon. So things were not looking good again for Beverly Hills Cop 4. In October 2011, things took an even stranger turn when Eddie Murphy himself announced that a movie was not going to be made anymore and that the project was going to become a television series. Now, Axel Foley was now the chief of police in Detroit and this was about his son. I don't know what the son was going to be called, whether it was Axel Foley Jr. or not, I don't know. But he was going to be going off to Beverly Hills and uh, become the new Beverly Hills cop. Um, however, the you know again this project struggled and it didn't really get off the ground. And um, I think it was May or sometime in 2013 that uh, CBS, the people who were going to be producing the show, said that they didn't want it. They didn't really have much faith in it going forward. And uh, once again, talks began about turning Beverly Hills Cop back into a fourth movie. So once again, talks went backwards and forwards about the script, still with Eddie Murphy and Brett Ratner attached. And um, it was eventually scheduled for a March the 25th release in 2016. However, on May the 8th, 2015, Paramount pulled the movie from their schedules and it disappeared completely. So once again, nobody really knew what was going on with Beverly Hills Cop 4. The movie appeared to be pretty much dead in the water. However, if we fast forward to November 2019, Deadline Hollywood reported that Paramount Pictures had made the deal with Netflix to produce a one-time movie. And that movie was Beverly Hills Cop 4. Um, so if, it seemed that finally the movie might be getting off the ground and in February 2022 it actually entered pre-production and in August 2022 the movie finally got before the cameras. Uh, most of the original cast came back. We had of course Eddie Murphy, Judge Reinhold, John Ashton, uh, we had Bronson Pinchot if that's how you pronounce his name and uh, new names added to the list including Mark Pellegrino who you may know from the TV series Supernatural, he played Lucifer in that and Kevin Bacon of all people. So it had quite a big cast and the movie, like I say, began production in August 2022 and um, it finally got before the cameras. Beverly Hills Cop 4 was finally happening. 
Beverly Hills Cop 4, now renamed Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley, shot in San Bernardino, California, and of course in Detroit, and it wrapped in uh, early 2023, so earlier this year. However, since then, we haven't really heard anything at all. We don't really know what's going on with it. Um, Netflix initially intended to release it this year and put it on their Netflix channel. Of course, uh, certain things have changed since then. We've had the SAG, I've got to get this right, AFTRA, I think it's SAG AFTRA strike, something like that. I'll put it up, up, up there somewhere if I've got the name wrong. And of course that has prevented um, actors from going out and promoting movies um, because they're fighting for obviously their, their rights. Um, so the movie is kind of sat in limbo at the moment, nobody really knows what's going on with it. As I say, it was due to be released um, this year sometime, I think it was probably September, somewhere around then it was due to be released. But um, it's all gone quiet, I guess, you know, actors can't get out and promote the movie, so I don't know whether Netflix want to get out there and promote this film with Eddie Murphy, of course it's his big comeback as the character, so they'll want to do as much as they can with that, and of course they can't because the strike is on at the moment, so I don't know if they're holding back on that. Um, or whether they, you know, or whether they want to find out whether they want to put it on a theatrical release. Now a theatrical release would be actually really good at this moment because because of the strike, no new movies are being made in Hollywood. So they've got a bunch of movies which they have made for something like Netflix and the like, which could actually be seen now as theatrical releases. And of course something with a franchise history like Beverly Hills Cop could do pretty well at the cinemas, so it could be something to draw people back into the cinemas when there's a lack of brand new movies coming out, so maybe that's one of the reasons they're holding back on it. However, we don't really know at the moment, and um, there's been no real word on it. As I said, there's been no poster, no trailer, there's kind of been, you know, no publicity stills about this film apart from those that have been shot while the movie's been shooting. So we really don't know what's going on with Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley. We don't know when we're going to see this film. Hopefully it'll be pretty soon because the movie has been finished. Um, it's been edited and all the stuff's been done with the music and all that kind of business. And it's testing very, very well from what we understand. People who have seen it said it's a great Beverly Hills Cop movie and it's a, you know, a step up from Beverly Hills Cop 3. Um, and apparently Axel Foley, sorry, uh, Axel Foley, uh, Harold Faltermeyer has come back and done a new version of the Axel Foley track. So that'll be interesting to see as well. So, yeah, you know, the only thing we can do is look forward to Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley or Beverly Hills Cop 4, if you prefer, when that movie releases. Um, you know, if I hear anything on this channel, I'll let you know. Perhaps you might have heard something. Perhaps you can let me know down in the, uh, down in the comments. So, yeah, that's, um, like I say, I want to try something a little bit new today, looking at a missing movie, and, of course, that missing movie being Beverly Hills Cop 4, Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley. And the only thing we can do is wait and see when it turns up, where it turns up, whether it be theatrical or Netflix. And, uh, of course, we'll get around to reviewing it on this channel when the movie opens. So, if you've enjoyed that little um, little special, something a little different today, um, please give the video the thumbs up. Like I say, don't be a thumb bandit like those strange people that turn it that way. Um, it goes this way. Click on it like that. doesn't cost you a penny. If you're brand new to the channel, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. There's loads of other film reviews on this channel, other film-related um, videos and things like that. So, if you might want to go back and have a look at those and if you enjoy them give them the thumbs up too. Uh, like I say if you're brand new to the channel please subscribe it doesn't cost a penny and uh, it helps me out it makes me want to do more of these videos and hit the notification bell as well that'll let you know when I've done another one. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you're a, be a big Beverly Hills Cop fan you know whether you're looking forward to Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley and uh, you know what you expect from the film what you hope to see or is it going to be one of these sequels like uh, maybe Indiana Jones that's maybe been left a little bit too late you know maybe the, can they recapture the magic of what they had back in the early 80s or mid 80s with the original Beverly Hills Cop the only way we'll see is when we see the movie so yeah thank you once again for watching this hope you've enjoyed it I will see you next time and uh, hopefully we'll do some more of these specials down the line take care